Welcome back, guys, to CFL Zen's or CFL content for the fans, by the fans. So we got the Calgary Stampeders now with their season preview. We will talk about where this team was before, where we think they are going, or maybe not going. We're going to see what Rick has to say about that. And then also me, because my opinion maybe matters, probably doesn't. How are you doing today, Rick? Not too bad. You're not You're, you're not doing too bad. We, we have spent a lot of time talking today. I'm starting to get sick of you. How do you think uh, how do you think <laughs> of the Calgary Stampeders this coming season? Um, the only thing that kind of sucks is that like with how well Phil Pot did last year, yeah and now he's injured. <clears throat> I don't know how long I, it, I know his injury is bad. I just don't know if it's like all of the season, part of the season, half of the season. yeah but if you if you look at their draft, I think they took Clark Barnes last year and then Cole Tucker first round this year. But those are the two receivers that stood out to me in the Calgary game yesterday. Not yesterday, Monday. And then, so, Calgary is like Heard Edmonton. Good things I don't about know Cole if Tucker. it... Heard no, Cole Tucker, good... like, those like... are the two uh, wide receivers that, like, young ones that yeah. weren't there last no, year. No, I was saying out. I've heard good things about him. That's oh, what I okay, yeah. yeah. Um, so anyway, so I don't know if it's a Calgary or if it's a whole Alberta thing, but the Alberta teams seem to, that they don't want to fork out money for any free agents. <laughs> yeah, no. Because I was looking at Bring it, Sean you know, Lemon back! <laughs> Michael Awe and Julian Hauser. Now, Hauser, we're going to miss. Yeah. I, I, I need to see, I need to see Sean Lemon post like a LinkedIn page. Like, like he needs a job. He's unemployed. <laughs> like, <laughs> somebody hire me, please. Watch the, like the or, breakers of like the USFL being like, we're taking this guy. Or just be like the, the NFL player, or yeah, the NFL players who can't cut it anymore and just go be like a, work for a TV station. Cause you, you know, go. not everyone at, oh, I got a new <clears throat> job for him. Oh, he can be the Glenn Suter replacement. <laughs> Glenn Suter replacement. I'm <laughs> sure you'd love that. <laughs> Look at that. This uh, this is transformed away from a uh, Calgary Stampeders preseason bid to who can take Suter's spot. <laughs> uh, in, ter in terms of, in terms of the defense, I'm not sure how I feel about the Stamps. I don't I don't feel like terrible like I do about Edmonton, but I also don't feel like amazing like i do about the bombers not gonna lie um however i did really like uh moxie he really he was just he was an interception machine like last season like where mm -hmm. like, he just seemingly was in front of everything like i remember i think we gave up two interceptions to moxie in in a single game uh the bombers did and so if the bombers are giving up those interceptions imagine what some other teams uh, might do about that um so i'd be interested to see more of that um, the, the biggest telling time, the, the biggest telling tale for how the Stampeders do this season entirely relies on Jake Mayer. If Jake Mayer plays good, the Stamps do good. Second or third place in the West. If Jake Mayer doesn't do good. Oh boy. Oh boy. We have a bit of a problem. And that's where I, 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 I have ungodly amounts of uncertainty about the Stampeders then. And that's the thing, because it's like, could they squeak into a playoff spot like that with Jake Mayer not playing up to his game? Yes. To get either to get smacked in the first or second round, though, like so it doesn't really mean anything um, because that's the thing. They've always had that safety net of Bo Levi Mitchell there with them, even if Bo Levi Mitchell wasn't the, the guy they were going to put out to start with. If Jake Mayer wasn't performing, they could they could fall back on Bo Levi Mitchell and it would work out well or at least work out good enough. They were able to do that come playoff times and actually worked out pretty well falling back onto Bo Levi Mitchell. Uh, but they're not able to do that anymore. So I'm not sure exactly how I feel about that. I, I still feel good about uh, Paredes uh, uh, for the kicking game for Calgary. I've I've enjoyed him as a kicker in the sense of he's been annoying to play against a bit uh, as he's been somewhat consistent in a league full of inconsistent kickers. So, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. So I have two bold predictions. Let's hear it. Um, so Calgary, because outside of Henry, their wide receiver, Robert, Bangleton, they're probably going to 
depend on Cole Tucker and as a slot back and Clark yeah. Burns as the other slot back. Gonna have to have but some here's, guys step here, up. Here's my here here's my two pulled predictions. Either Jake Mayer is gonna go down and they'll bring in Tommy Stevens, who was their third stringer last year as their quarterback, or they make a trade. And my other one, I say Soto replaces Paradis by the end of the season as their kicker. Okay. Because the only thing is, is he stuck out in the preseason for kicking the other day. I see, I see, I see. I don't, I don't know. But, I, I, but, I, it really depends on Paredes. But they also have, so, so they have on their depth chart against Edmonton the other day, they had Soto listed as kicker and punter. So he's kind of like one of those people that can do both. Yep. Positions, but I would say probably Paradis will be a kicker, and so do will be. Legio a played both positions, but he couldn't do both positions. <laughs> I mean, Soto came over from Toronto, so I mean. No, I'm just I'm I, I'm a bomber fan. I have to joke about Mark Legio. I'm sorry, it's just I, I had to. <laughs> I mean, and then their defense lost, I think, five players to Hamilton over the off season. Ouch. Thurman's, yeah. So we're we should now be called the Hamilton Stamps. <laughs> but we we'll get to that. We'll get to that in the Hamilton. Hamilton stamps. Hamilton's uh, tradition of taking two teams' names and combining them together to make a sports team, which oh, you, you know just how many, you know you, you know just know learned about today. Our, you know how many of our viewers won't let you hear that down. I I I don't know. I I don't really care. I'm gonna say it anyway. Um, <laughs> no, but... no, no, no. I'm saying I'm saying non Ticat fans will agree. With oh, that. oh, I see, I see. Well, I guess they'll find out. Um, we'll talk about that in the Hamilton video. Though. We're getting off topic. We're talking about Calgary. We're talking about we're talking about Calgary. And what what does Calgary have? They're better than Edmonton. No, buddy. They're that better. They're better than Edmonton. That's what they got. They're better than the freaking Elks, which is a low damn bar. <laughs> I oh, it, only if that Battle of Edmonton on Labor Day, if Edmonton the wins the Battle that, of Edmonton, the Battle, Battle of Alberta, uh, Alberta on Labor Day. No, no, I wasn't joking about that. I was just oh. joking about how Edmonton was gonna be like competitive enough to for us to call it a battle. Um, oh. more of more of the the slow drowning of Edmonton. You can call it that, huh? <laughs> That's what we'll call it, drown in the oil fields. Um, but but yeah, but yeah, looking at their depth chart, like they didn't really bring in everyone, so it's pretty much like those as I'm gonna use your hockey term, they either bring up people from the states or they draft or they develop through the draft. Yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah, I'm I am so, so ungodly uncertain about this Cal this Calgary team in the sense of that out of Calgary, Saskatchewan, and Edmonton, they they should do the best out of those three at least. And in theory, they could be above BC. It really, man, it really depends. I, 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 I just don't know. I, I don't know. So I, so I guess we'll just kind of have to see. But so for me, I, I'm going to have Calgary finishing either second, second or third, third, second or third. I, I had I had BC at third, but it was more of a second or third type of thing. Um, I'm going to have Calgary kind of roughly the same. Um, it's kind of hard because we don't know the uh, midseason moves that we're going to do because we know Edmonton's not going to make any because that's uh, that that requires the the only thinking. the only thing that really stands out for me, and I'm sure Calgary fans will hate me for saying this, um, outside of Roberts and Henry, that's kind of like matches up to Edmonton's Dunbar and um Lewis because kind of Malik Henry type thing. The only difference is Calgary has what's the three headed monster with Cash and Carry, Mills and Logan. Whereas Edmonton has no running backs. Yeah. Uh, oh boy, it's um. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'd... I forgot. Calgary has Bangleton too. Can't forget Bangleton. 
Yeah, they got Reggie Bagleton. I like Reggie Bagleton. He is he's done well, I don't like playing against Reggie Bagleton, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> but yeah, but overall I, overall I don't feel too badly about this stamps team in the sense of that there's high chances for other failure, but at least they actually have are they have a higher ceiling in terms of yes. they they have the potential to actually play pretty decent. We're just gonna see if they decide to play like their counterparts like the Stanley like the Stanley like the Calgary Flames and just not do anything or if they decide that they're going to do something and they're going to be the team in uh in Calgary that gets it done so let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about the Calgary Stampeders make sure you guys check out the other videos so you can get your season preview um for each of your favorite teams or least favorite teams in the CFL uh, watch the video anyway because I asked pol uh, politely and I'm going to say please now because I forgot to. So, yeah, um, I think that's all I got. Anything else right there, Rick? No, not me. I you know. So, all right. Well, you guys take care. Again, comment down below and I'll see you guys next time. Touchdown!